Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We've had fan-oriented and analytic discussions on a variety of animated shows, movies, and anime, currently featuring Steven Universe, Star Wars Force Evil, and Samurai Jack, among others. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hey, y'all. Today, Delaney and I will be giving our top 10 favorite Star vs. the Forces of Evil characters. Uh... Hot, hot topic here uh, <laughs> to get important. into. Very important topic. We were, we're continuing our um, semi-weekly star discussion since the star finale. Um, still anticipating the premiere this summer. Soon. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, but we were getting into our favorite characters today. We discuss star frequently and other animated shows uh, at OverlyAnimated.com. You can check us out there. Search for the Overly Animated Podcast on uh, iTunes at OverlyAnimated.com slash iTunes or uh, other podcatchers. Um, we recently did a uh, Top 10 Star Episodes podcast. Um, which, uh, there, we got some discussion on the star Reddit about shout out to the star Reddit. Um, <laughs> people liked our lists. Um, we I'm got, shocked. uh, Patriot, uh, patron Alex is mad at us for not putting the, uh, season one finale in our top tens. And then it almost, I was considering it. Yeah. And then people are mad at you for not putting Bon Bon higher. But other, I know, I know, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> they were fine with it. I'm not shocked. Yeah, so shout out to the Star Reddit. We'll see, we'll see what, uh, maybe we'll get a, uh, character discussion going. This is less of a, uh, less of a best. Those were kind of our attempt to rank the best episodes. This is more just of a favorite characters. It's, 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 it's hard to rate the 10 best characters on the show. You can probably do it for like two of them or three of there's them. Not that, like, there's but then, not that many characters. But then that it's are, basically like, arbitrary. There. Yeah. So this is our per- so that's what I want to say. This is our personal opinions on these. Um, you know, there's gonna be some people we leave off. I anticipate that uh you might have on yours, but uh it's you know, it, it's personal preference and um what we uh so we'll we'll get into that. So yeah, we're gonna go um from like uh honorable mentions then ten to one. Um, and, uh, some, any amount of explanation <laughs> is fine. Uh, I, I want to highlight two characters before we start that I anticipate not being on your list that are not on mine. Okay. Um, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but Ludo and Glosseric. Yep. Yeah. Not, yep. Thousand yeah. percent. Not on so my list. we don't hate Ludo and Glosseric. <laughs> Well, no, we, we hate Glosseric. We hate Glosseric. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. we hate Glosseric. <laughs> we do, but we don't hate Ludo. We just don't. Uh, we're, neither, we're just two of the two of us just happen to not be crazy about Ludo. But I, I want to I acknowledge. I was thinking about it. Yeah, I want to acknowledge that a lot of people like Ludo. Like, and he's and he has like he's a very different character than we started off with, and they've done some kind of interesting things with him. Ludo alone just left very poor taste in my and Dylan's mouth. It's like, just not good. Like. No. People like that episode though, and there's a lot yeah. of Ludo fans. I'm a, I also have a, uh, like a ranking poll that I found that we can go over at the end too. And L- okay. Ludo is not in the top five of that, so I feel a little vindicated, but. No, I don't think Ludo's in the top five really. You like, know, but I, some is, people, is there anyone whose favorite character is Ludo though? No, but I think he could be in some people's top fives. And I think that's, that's fine. I'm not saying we're, yeah. we're not saying you're wrong, but it's just, you know. We apologize. Yeah, we apologize for the Ludo hate. The Glasser K, we we don't apologize for (laughs) Glasser. Not really. Although, (laughs) although considering that uh, we now know that he created the Magic High Commission and that he's infinitely powerful, I'm a little bit afraid of not ranking him in my top ten. I think that's a concern. Yeah, it's like oh, and I'm also like I kind of hate him more. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, right. Because he's you're this obnoxious. Like you know, at first it was like okay, you're just a really, really weird guru, Patik. No, now you're just this obnoxiously all powerful being, and you just suck. Yeah, no, he's just like the worst god. Like basically, (laughs) is what he is. Yeah, it's like it's like um, Dionysus from in, in like the Percy Jackson series. Yeah, I don't get the reference, but oh. I, I know someone who the, out there will understand. I know who the real Dionysus is, but you know, yeah. basically okay. the same idea. He's just like yeah. he's like forced to be the camp counselor, and he hates everything. Okay, okay. Um, so no the spoilers, no Ludo and Glasrick on our list, but nope. yeah, there Sweet. you go. Delaney, any honorable mentions? Yes, uh, this isn't like any particular order. These were originally on my list, and then I was like, no, I'm going to do my actual faves. Okay. So my honorable mentions are, and these people are going to be irritated. Jackie, Jana, and Tom. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. All three out. Uh, all three out in honorable they, mentions. They were on my list. And then I was like, but my faves. Like, I do like these characters. And a lot, honestly, after the top, like, five, it, like, doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll talk about that. But, yeah, that's that's some... Uh, I didn't expect Jana to be not on your top ten. I will say that. I know. Like, it was hard. 
But then I had, well, the thing was, like, I remembered kind of, like, there are side characters, like, really kind of minor characters on my list because I adore them. Like, this is coming from someone whose favorite character in Legend of Korra is Lin Beifong. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with her, so this is completely in character for me. So, I don't apologize. Yeah. Have you seen the Lin uh, comic art that just got posted? By the no. Way? I'll, I'll link that to you after. But yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. No. <laughs> I've been too busy trying to get caught up on Star Wars news. <laughs> It was yeah, I'll, I'll share that. But um, and, yeah, and so, news of our impending nuclear doom. But that's, this is, I think this is getting posted after. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this, this is we're recording this on the Star Wars trailer day. So th- th- that's for for context here. But um, my honorable mentions: um, Kelly, uh, okay. Tom, Romulus, uh, mm. Mrs. Diaz, and Miss mm. ha- and Miss Heinous. Okay, yeah, Miss Hain- Some of those are on my list. Did I mean Mr. Diaz or did I mean Mrs. Diaz? I think I meant Mr. Diaz. Yeah, I was like, I'm really, I'm kind of like, I'm like, that doesn't N- neither sound like the, Neither of the parents are on my list. I think I meant Mr. Diaz. Okay. But. I have them as a collection together on my that's, list that's because not, I love that, them together. That's not allowed. Um, on the Wikipedia page, they're listed <laughs> under the Diaz's, so I thought it was okay. Okay, Wikipedia has spoken there. Um, Kelly's great. Uh, Tom's fine. Romulus is fine. I like Mr. I like Diaz. Tom in that, like, the Tom Co. Like that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Tom is a character that definitely on a lot of people's top tens, top fives. I will say Tom's on both of our honorable mentions, so that should quell some of the the backlash. But uh the intense know, we're not angry. like Tom fangirls, but uh right. we we he's still a good character. We yeah. know why you like Tom, it's yeah, okay. He's and I agree the Tom Co the Tom Co is is great. And Miss Anus, um I think if it was after season one, she'd definitely be in my top 10, but I haven't been crazy about what they've been doing with her. So right. I don't know. Um, okay. Here's how my list worked. Basically, there's like one and two are obvious. Um, we then don't have the same one. And obviously. Two. So the, then, then three and three to eight, I was like, okay, I can come up with these are solid. And then my nine and 10, I just, it, it could have been anyone on my honorable mentions list could have been nine or 10 on my list. There's there's no big distinction. Like it's uh, you run oh out God, of characters after a while. How'd you mess up? I only have a top nine. I miscounted. <laughs> okay, you can promote someone from those three. This is a big decision, Delaney. Who are you promoting to number ten? <sighs> I got. I'm gonna. Jana has been promoted okay. to number ten. Okay. That's good. Vindicated. Jana's on <laughs> on your top ten. <laughs> I, I'm Oops. glad. Okay. Um. How, how, how do where, do you have any cutoffs on your list? I, I mean, like after the top five, it's kind of like whatever. Yeah, but um okay. like they're all there like i don't know like for me the top five are solid some people are going to be like why is that person in your top five delaney but like i have reasons and then the rest of them like kind of interchangeable okay okay let's do 10 to 5 for you there 10 10 to 6 you okay. already did 10 so Jana apparently makes it yes and then so do you want my number nine yes okay Rombulus. Rombulus. Yeah, he's I'm not, ridiculous. I'm not surprised Rombulus makes your list. You're I a, love you're Romulus. A, you're a big Rombulus fan. He's so dumb. I love him. I just love like I love Doctor Who because I love Daleks because they're the dumbest looking things ever. Mm. Same reason why I like Rombulus. He's dumb and he's great. I just love Rombulus. I do like the Dalek comparison. That's that's very convincing. <laughs> like that's why. Like I <laughs> love Daleks because they're the dumbest things ever. No, I find Daleks genuinely very scary though. Well, that's the thing. No, it's like Romulus. He could, he's so stupid, but he can freeze people and he has yeah. this like ridiculous power. Dallas can murder an entire race of people, but yeah. they look so stupid. They look like really threatening salt and sh- pepper shakers. Like it's yeah. ridiculous. Romulus just for the design as nine. Oh, not just for the design, like because like it's the design and because like he's this really dumb looking all powerful thing. Like it's really funny. I appreciate you, you it. You know who that also applies to is Glosseric. Yeah, but like I hate Glossary. <laughs> okay, that's the, that's the difference. Romulus yeah. looks dumb. Like he's funny dumb. He has like snake yeah. hands. He's, he's that har- argue with him. Yeah, he's harmless and seems. Glossary like is just creepy yeah. looking. Yeah, the snake hands. Can we re- do the snake hands count as a separate character? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, it could. It could. <laughs> we might have to rank them separately. That's why they exist. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are different, like uh, sentient beings. So I don't know. Okay, Romulus nine. Who's eight? Omnitraxis Prime. Okay. I, I didn't think you'd have Omnitraxis over Romulus. I'm oh, surprised. No. Well, Omni- okay, Omnitraxis character design is, like, sick. Like, he's so cool. Also, the voice, like, the voice acting for him, quality. Also, of course, I love the ridiculous, like, he's, like, the time and space person. Like, that's so good. And that episode with him is, like, well, like, the main episode with him when, like, 
he's like star come on can you like with like i just loved him in like math magic like yeah we're big math magic fans it's yeah. so good yeah. and all, like he's just great i just love him he's like the kool-aid man with like a galaxy in him it's just great mm, i like this comparison <laughs> You need to compare every uh, council member now to some weird, <laughs> different thing. <laughs> to some weird. I have to make the most yeah. absurd yeah. comparisons. I assume there's another council member on your list. So when oh, we get I'm to, sure everyone knows. When like, we get the to them, when we when we get to them, we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see I if don't you. Know if I have one yet. We'll see if you've Lekmit on your list. I assume. It's <laughs> not no. No, Lekmit. Lekmit's also not on my list. Spoilers. Who does? Who does? Who's Lekmit look like? Oh, Lekmit. Um. Like a good. Okay, Lekmit is like. You know how, like, Cusco gets turned into... Uh, is it a, he took his turn to a llama, right? So, it's like if Cusco got turned into a llama, but it was, like, a really old, cool, wizened Cusco the llama. Okay. That's 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 pretty good off the on the, off the fly. You know, like, I totally just completely yeah, like just uh, that's pretty good. That one was forced, considering the forced effort that one was. I think yeah, that one was, like, okay. That was, pretty, that was pretty good for that. Okay, who's your uh, seven? Yeah. This should surprise no one. Baby. Baby. Okay. A one episode character makes sense. I love that character. (laughs) It's just this cat. (laughs) And it just eats. It's so good. I just love baby. Like one that episode's incredible. And then I just, I just love baby. It's just a good character. And it's just this adorable cat and really threatening at the same time. Interesting. Yeah. So good. I did not have baby on my list, but uh, yeah, I, I could see that. I love baby. Yeah. Okay. Six. The Diaz's. Okay. The the cheating. Uh, yes. Ra- yeah. I just lo- I love Marco's parents. They're so great. And I it's not like I could really rank like one of them over the other. They're both fabulous. Mr. We Diaz have- was the standout in the finale, though. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I think we've had a little bit more time with like Mr. Diaz on his own. Yeah, we have. But I think they're both great. And, like, they both are just really, like, I just love Marco's parents. They're fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I agree. Marco's parents were uh, definitely a consideration, although they did not make my list. Okay. My 10 to 6. 10 is Omnitraxis Prime. (laughs) Ooh, Um, I had Omnitraxis Prime higher. Yeah, I was shocked because I'm the big Omnitraxis fan. And uh, Delaney has him higher, so I don't know about that. But, um, yeah, he's great. We'll have to fight. We'll have to fight over (laughs) over our... um, uh space and time dad like yes what oh know? my god space and time dad okay. yeah there you go that's his name um yeah math magic's incredible and he's really good in that episode and his his design's great and i i genuinely like him unlike romulus so he makes it over <laughs> romulus I, I did consider romulus but um okay number nine here's the big the big one on my list Lenny. um Brittany. number nine oh, I'm, not, I'm not even surprised yeah. okay who's is it steve is steve gonna be really happy um, I, I think Steve also appreciates Britney. I think I'm the big Britney fan though, but, uh, um, okay. yeah. Well, I thought, I thought Steve, like, since an ass, it was, like, specifically about Britney. Yeah. Uh, no, Steve's the big Jana fan. Jana. Th- yeah, yeah. Who said uh, an ass about Britney? Me. I talk about Britney all the time. There Brittany's, was something else, but okay. Britney's the, uh, the cheerleader. And, um, this is my baby inclusion, I guess, <laughs> because she's yeah, not really. Pretty. Yeah. No, if you, if he listens to us a lot, this is not surprising. No, um, but, uh, yeah, I irrationally like Brittany. There's no reason to, um, I'm, I'm projecting future growth onto her, but <laughs> it has not happened. It's yet. the same reason why Dylan really loves Chloe and Rackley's yeah, yeah. Ladybug. It's, it's, it's the archetype. Yeah. It's, and I, I like, I, I do think they've done funny things with her. Um, Chloe, no, Chloe is genuinely a good character though. And Brittany really has not had anything. No, I do. So. I do agree. No, so, like Chloe's actually a yeah. character. So, uh, Brittany, number nine. Um, so then my top eight are a pretty firm. Um, number eight, Jackie. Okay, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, I like Jackie. I'm not crazy about her, but I, I, I do like her. She makes my definitely makes my top eight. Um, yeah, like, I, she's in my honorable mention, but like, I do like Jackie. She's just not my favorite. Like, she's a cool character, but it's not like, oh man, I really like this character. Yeah, she's not like doesn't stand out as a fave, she's but I think I, she, I think she's cool. Um, and I like, I like the characterization the show has done with her. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and uh, the Jarko. You know, that's that's also a factor, I guess. <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah. Number seven, um, Moon. Too low, says this Delaney. This is so low. Says Delaney, too low. Unacceptable. Yeah, but um, I disagree. I think this is the correct ranking of Moon. Um, no. Because she's great in two episodes. And I, she would not have made my top ten before the finale episodes. I, I love know. how this is your follow-up to your irrational inclusion of Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... 
<laughs> she's good in two episodes, but Britney's on my list, so. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. So, with a grain of salt, I will accept your criticism of <laughs> Queen Butterfly. We'll we'll talk about uh yeah we'll I'll ask the same question before the finale yes. where she would have ranked when we get to her on yours list. But for, for for me, she would not have been on my top ten or honorable mentions before the finale. Like she's right. moved up a lot from right. the finale. So I really love her in the finale, but I need to see more. That's um, fair. But she but she is she has been very interesting in those two episodes. Number six is Ponyhead. That's uh, so low, Dylan. How who what space do you I guess you don't like spoiler alert, Jan is in my top five, but like who who are you not including? Like there's no more space, Delaney. I don't um, think you're gonna include one of my fave side characters. I'm gonna get really I, irritated. Yeah, I assume I assume not, but um Ponyhead's great, obviously. Uh Ponyhead could have been my three, four, or five, but I put her at six, you know. But she right. she's great. Ponyhead really has really grown on me, which I'll talk about more when I like tell you where Ponyhead okay. is. I think you're going to leave off some important people, but uh, let's do your five and four and three. Let's do five, four, three because our one and two are obvious. Okay, so I stopped at the Diaz's. Yeah. Okay, my number five is Miss Skullnick. Okay. <laughs> I love her. Okay, I she's fine. She's I love her. She's such like. What I, okay, the main reason, the concept of her is, like, my favorite thing in yeah, the show. Yeah, Like, I have always just been, like, the, just the concept of the troll teacher is the best thing ever. I just, she's a great side character. And she's been in, pl- she's been, I, probably more episodes than Brittany. Yeah, she's more of a character than Brittany. Yeah, no. So, what do you like? Do you like the concept, Miss Gonic? I agree. Um, yeah, I like the concept. Yeah. She's just funny. Like, she has, she has some pretty funny, like, one-liners. And she's just this, like, bitter troll teacher. It's so great. Yeah. I just love her. Like she, oh. I think they use her really well, and she's like they don't just poke fun at her either. Like she's just she's actually a character, and they like do things with her, and it's just funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and, uh, who is your four? Four is Queen Butterfly. Yes, yes, Gosh, yes, shopping. yes. Pre finale, where does she rank? Okay, the thing is, like, I have always liked Queen Butterfly. And I think I've been her st- like staunchest defender. Yeah, you did. You did like her before the finale. You did. Yeah, like I've always liked Queen Butterfly. I've always been waiting for like Queen Butterfly to shine. Before the finale, she would still be in my top ten. I think she probably would have been below the top five. But of course, with the finale, it's like I just love her. Queen Butterfly's great. Got to see her in action. I've always liked her character. So this is just I felt very vindicated <laughs> in the finale because I love her so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she she's she's great. I guess po- Ponyhead's your three. Yes, Ponyhead is my three. Which I was surprised myself that Ponyhead was my three. Like, yeah, I didn't really like Ponyhead in the beginning. Okay, but I Ponyhead's like now I'm like excited to see Ponyhead. I think Ponyhead's really funny. Also, I like I had to put Ponyhead at the top three. Like, who else would be in the top three? I mean, I'll show you who. Yeah, <laughs> you have two. You have two non inclusions. Um, which we'll right. get to, but yeah, Ponyhead, um, it, she's great. Yeah, and she's just funny. Yeah. Also, again, the concept of Ponyhead is great. Yeah, again, yeah, another another great conceptual character, and also just used used really well. Okay, five on my list, uh, not in not on Delaney's list, and uh, which is incorrect is Toffee. Okay, I no, I knew this. Like, I was like, I'm not putting Toffee on my list, and Dylan's gonna be like. Like it's throw fit. incorrect, so. incorrect. Not ranking Toffee in the top ten. In the, like, this is the thing. If it was in the top ten best characters, Toffee would probably yeah. be okay. number yeah. three or two. But Toffee is not my favorite character. I don't really like Toffee that much. Like he's cool. He's a cool cat or whatever. But like he's not on my list. He's like an alligator. But he's yeah, a cool yeah. alligator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, that's fair. I think he'd be even higher on my list if it was. Would best. it be awesome yeah. alligator? Like cool cat. Awesome alligator. Yeah, that's fair. Or like. <laughs> Well, he's like a lizard. Is it like he's I don't the, know? No, we actually know his species. I forgot it already, but we are. We, we did. We just discussed he's like that. from the realm of like reptiles. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Toffee's incredible. I actually dislike the use of Toffee in the finale. Um, yeah. Toffee's sass and his like personality is like uh, what shines. Like no, uh, he's just all consuming evil. Yeah, and I don't like that. So, um, I think he would have been my third pre-finale, but he dropped to five. So I, I would like to use uh, Toffee in better ways. In season one, he was the standout. Um, just the introduction of him with the job interview uh, is incredible. Um, 
love love his the, again another great conceptual character of him like in the suit and like fixing things and it turns out he's like he was the he was he brought out the best in ludo as well too right. um so big toffee fan um i'm has, just shocked that he's so low but i has, understand why he's yeah. lower on your list i mean you know there's two people who need to be higher so i mean he could have right. been well he could have been three or four this well though my number four not on delaney's list which i am upset about is hekapu I knew again. These are these were conscious decisions <laughs> that I made that I was prepared for Dylan's backlash. Up, upset about this. Like again, like I really like Hecka Poo. Like she's cool or whatever. But I'm not like she's I'm not cool gonna, or I'm, whatever. I'm not going to insult Dylan's love for Hecka Poo by falsely putting her on my list. <laughs> oh, you're trying to appeal to me, but <laughs> no, I really don't like. I I really like the episode. I don't really like the episode okay. because of Hecka Poo. Like she's a yeah. cool like character or whatever. But giving me credit for being the OG Hecka Poo fan. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. Yes. But yeah, she's like a one episode character. But like, the, the I one, had to the represent one, baby. Like I have baby. Yeah, like but, she's my fave. But the one episode is everything. So it's you right. know. But yeah, I, I did. I she was my standout from the initial High Commission episode, and um, even though she didn't talk, and then she had her episode, and she's incredible. Um, I mean, she's just such a standout uh, design, uh, like voice use in the show, like pairing with Marco. Like it's 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 everything. Heck, Boo's incredible. Yeah, I agree, but yeah. she's just not on the list. Three is Janna. Um, Naturally. Yeah. Uh, could have been Heku, could have been Toffee, could have been Ponyhead, but um, I went Janna at three. I think Janna's, like, the best of all those maybe three characters, so that, like, broke the tie for me. I think they've they've used Janna really well. I also just really like her, uh, and I love her interaction with Star. I think they use her inconsistently. If um, I, I, that's my thing. That was probably, I think that was the main thing that counted against Janna for me. Like, if we see a lot more of her, then I would, like, I would, like, I really like her as a character. Like, her archetype is something I'm really, like, interested in. I really enjoy, like, the kind of character Jan is. She's just a weirdo. Like, I love her. But I, I need to see more of her before I'm, like, comfortable actually putting her, like, well, I did I did put her on my top ten. She was ten. Barely, barely um, made before it. I, before I put her higher. I would like her to just be Star's best friend, like, in the show. Yeah. But um, at, at what, from what we've seen already, I think she's the standout of the non- you know, one and two characters. So, um, Jenna, Jenna Banana. There's more of that in the book than there is on the show, but, uh, um, oh, I need to get the book. I keep forgetting. Darn it. <laughs> Head there. Her, her heading is Jenna Banana on there, I think. So, that's really good. Written by Star. So that's good. But that's also, good. that's the, the gay ships so you need to get on board. I'm, I'm, I am on board. We've had this discussion. <laughs> get on, if it's gay, I ship it, Dylan. Like, you need to get further on board in that, uh, rank or higher is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that constitutes right. being further on board. Jan and Star. Okay, but Jan is three. Um, yeah, Delaney, two and one. Okay, no one's shocked. Uh, number two is Marco, and number one is Star. Yes. Uh, me, me as well, number two, Marco, number one, Star. Like, that obviously. is the correct ranking. Like, is, uh, you can do what you want with three to ten, but number one is Star, and number two is Marco. Like, like 100%. I don't, I will not entertain other other rankings. No, no, I mean, no. Yeah. Uh, any, any thought at all to putting marco one okay like one in the i think i considered it in that the idea of you know it starts it stars show right so that you know it'd be like well you know you kind of get thinking about it like it's not like harry's the best character in harry potter yeah i agree but but i mean star, um, but marco is great and i do love him but i don't necessarily i don't think they use him to his full potential all the time Grant, also, that's, considering the season we just came off of and the focus on Star that season two really has had, because season one was like Star and Marco together, Star and Marco going on adventures, Star and Marco doing things together. So I do think a lot of the focus on season two, like what they've done with Star's character is just absolutely incredible. And until, and the closest they've come with Marco so far is running with scissors, and that's just one episode. Yeah. So, so I think Marco could have the potential. Like, may, maybe we'll get to a point where Star and Marco. It's like I don't know. They're both amazing. It's like when you like. It's like Katara and Aang. You're like, I love them both. Like, how do you pick? Granted, I think Aang is probably Dylan's fave because he is Aang. But yeah. Well, so for me, my I never, I never really picked a fave out of Katara and Aang. Right. Um, so it's it's it was it was like a, they're both you know right they're, they're, like, they're both just my fave. together. That's not the case with this show. I think I think Star is like a clear fave for me. Yes. Yeah. I think I think after the first half of season two, you could have this could have been close. Yes, but especially coming off of this incredible arc with Star, I think it's not really close right now. I mean, after Baby, like it doesn't matter anymore. It's over. Uh, Baby's Delaney's one after Baby doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, but no. like, 
like that episode and then just the journey you see star gone in season two is just absolutely incredible and honestly like legend of Korra is like the benchmark for incredible television like it just is and I would say season like season two stars arc is like it's not there it's not there but I mean, we're reaching like the the arc Korra goes on over the four seasons of Legend of Korra which is like the most incredible character development like ever. Star stars a better character through two seasons than Korra was through two seasons. Yes, I think absolutely for sure. Yeah, um, the first two seasons, not the last two seasons, but you can't like arbitrarily pick these. Yeah, but um, I, I yeah Korra's arc overall gets there just because it's like the course of the whole show. We'll see where we get with Star. Um, right. but yeah, no, I mean, that's saying a lot because I do think like, even though season two of Korra wasn't as good, it was Korra's arc was still fine there. Um, right. but yeah, Star is a better character through the first two seasons of the show. Yes, no, um, absolutely. Like the beginning, yeah. like where Star is right now is uh, as a character is definitely like, I, no. I would almost say leaps and bounds over where Korra's character was. Yeah. And it's not really close either. Yeah. Um, yeah. For me, the, uh, Marco's like a clear two. Like, uh, she, the, Marco, the difference between Marco and Jenna is a lot, but the difference between Marco and Star is a lot as well. Like, this yeah. isn't close for me at all. Star is also my favorite character on TV, um, right. right now. Like, it's, it's really, this is like the most clear cut one out of any show on TV is, is, is Star being one. Um, I, it's like a combination of her just having incredible characterization. Um, just, uh, her having just aspects like, I guess that are, sympathetic to me and also just me liking her a lot like there isn't really a character like star on tv like yeah i, like I other than like that. other than star like i think the closest we would have had like in the past is mabel from gravity falls and even then like they're still very different characters like Star's, Mabel's grounded in a way that Star yeah, is not. Star is the best, uh, most realistic characterization of like a young female on tv not close that probably maybe that's ever existed um that, that's possible. Well, I would say young female in that, like, given her circumstances. Because, like, like, because, like, Cora, like, like the what's so incredible about Cora yeah, is yeah. the subversion. Yeah, like, like child more than Cora type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, agree. Yeah, Cora is still overall better, but um, and you could argue Katara, and you, you know, yes. there's there's a bunch of, but uh, this could be a round table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh no, and it's just incredibly impressive what the show has done with Star and uh seems like it will continue to do. And uh far and away my favorite and also far away far and away the best, I would say. Yeah, I would say that I am more satisfied with Star as a character and Star as a show than I am with Steven Universe currently. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah, <laughs> um I th- Steven Universe is still the better show right now, yes. but but uh at the points they're at, this is a, a more satisfying right. show for Well, sure. it's different. Like Star yeah. is I mean, it's at a much like younger place than Steven Universe is right now. Yeah, it's it, it is. Um, so uh, I found this uh, uh, ranker list on CO. I think best Star Wars the first evil characters. Ryan Carrig- Ryan Harrigan ranker. Oh, granted, only four hundred people have voted, but um, here's the here's the results. Star one, Marco two, Hecapoo three, Buff Frog four. We forget what? we didn't rank Buff Frog. Neither of us. I, there's what? a lot of Buff Frog fans. I mean, that's fine. I'm just like, <laughs> Jana 5, Toffee 6, Ludo 7, Queen Butterfly 8, Jackie 9, King Butterfly 10. I'm in her. I'm okay. I'm kind of shocked King Butterfly is on there. That's a solid list. Well, I think it makes sense in that, like, the considering the population that voted on that poll. Glossaric 11. <laughs> you. <laughs> Glossaric 11. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't know who exactly who voted on the poll. I just saw it linked from, from CO. But, um, right. yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. Lechmit 13. <laughs> well, considering the, like, the high median of who is on the internet and who would have seen yeah, yeah, that yeah, poll. Yeah. In general, any you can, and Tom 17. Yeah. I think, I think if we ran this poll on Tumblr, Tom would be really high. Yeah. Uh, um, I think Tom would probably be in the top three if we ran this R- poll on Tumblr. Ruberry at 18. <laughs> What? <laughs> spider with a top hat. Oh, that's a, a 19. Oh, that could have been, that would have been a really, yeah, no. Spider that's a, with he's, top spider, hat. he's a good honorable mention, I think. No, he, yeah, he would. Yeah. No, he's great. He could have been, yeah. Ba- baby 20 on this list. I love baby. <laughs> Dennis, so. Dennis 21. <laughs> Dennis, Who? Uh, Ludo's brother. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> From the finale. Uh, it's you, Ferguson and, um, I don't even remember the other one's name. Alonzo. I don't see Alonzo. that. Alonzo. Useless police officer 23 from the finale. <laughs> That's good. Uh, we didn't rank Starfan 13. I like, I don't, like, I didn't really think about, I don't know. Like, she's not really she's a character. Not a, she's not a character. No. <laughs> she's uh, a prop. <laughs> Sensei 26. <laughs> no. I mean, we're pretty low. They could do point. nothing with Sensei that would ever make him be on my list, ever. 
He oh, could probably. save the world. I would be like, no. Hungry Larry, 33. Would you rate? <laughs> would Hungry you Larry is terrifying. <laughs> Werewolf. I'd be like trying to rank Slender Man on something. Okay, yeah, like no. I agree. I agree. Werewolf hipster guy is ranked on this list. Um, he's the guy who's like wants to pick up the dollar. And uh, oh you know. yes, okay. <laughs> okay, there's we're going deep okay. here. Ferguson forty. Um, you know Brittany forty four. Yeah, okay. So Oscar. <laughs> But yeah, okay. We didn't consider Oscar either. There is no way Oscar is going to be on no, the list. No, no. D- didn't not not considered. Okay, so Delaney, give us your top ten again uh, for reference. Ten to one. Yeah. As my phone no longer cooperates. Ten, Jana. Yep, Jana Romulus, Omnitraxis Prime, Baby, the Diazes, which Dylan thinks is cheating, Miss Skullnick, Queen Butterfly, Ponyhead, Marco, and Star Butterfly. When this is posted anywhere, please use an asterisk next to the the, the Diaz's. Am I gonna for... post it? I guess I could. <laughs> no, no, no. When if 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 someone is to post this in somewhere else for reference, then uh, there needs to be an asterisk next to it because it is uh, been marked as officially cheated. No, but it was it absolved by Wikipedia though. I think it might have been. So we don't know. Okay. We need an official ruling. Okay. Ten on the tracks is for me. Ten on the tracks is prime. Nine Brittany. Eight Jackie. Seven Moon. Six Ponyhead. Five Toffee. Four Hecapoo. Three Jana. Two Marco. One Star. So let us know your rankings in the comments or YouTube comments uh, or on wherever you might see this. And um, I mean, this is it's going to vary a lot because people's personal lists, but you know, uh, I think I think we we have some solid some solid lists here. I think we represent, like, I think sometimes me and Dylan don't differ too much in opinion on characters, but I think this was a good... Yeah, there are some good differences. Good I think our, I think the biggest disagreement will probably be on um, Ludo and uh, Tom. I think those yes, are the two 100%. people are, people are going to want those on higher on their lists. Yes. Yeah. Tom, Tom's really not been on many episodes, is what I would say. Yeah, like, like I like Tom. Well, okay. I like the concept of Tom. I don't actually like Tom. Tom's archetype is not an archetype that I enjoy. Tom's likable at some points, but yes. not not a which is like the entire point of his character. So right, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's you know it, we can get into a, a Tom a Tom Co discussion later. Hopefully, we'll we'll eventually get into this. Tom Co's quality. <laughs> the uh, when when will Tom return from the war? <laughs> where's Tom? Yeah, where's Fine Tom? Two K. Tom, Tom so probably okay. has to factor into Star going. Too. Oh no, hundred percent. I yeah. still think I still hold by my theory that she's going to be like hopping around the kingdoms. Yeah, and now that we know that Tom's kingdoms within Muni, then um, right. seems even more likely. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you thought, and check us out at overlyanimated dot com, and consider supporting us at patreon dot com slash overlyanimated. Thank you very much to all of our patrons, especially our patron of the podcast, Andy, aka Buzz Lightyear, and thanks as always to our patron executive producers, John, Ryan, Steve, and Alex. Um, last comments, Delaney, about this discussion. I mean, Star Marco, which is obviously like two of the best characters on TV right now. Um, I'm. I would, I don't know if I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm as strong as Dylan as like Star being like the best character on TV right now. I do love Star. I definitely didn't think after watching the first season of Star that I was going to love Star so much. But I think it's good and I'm excited to see more. Where is yeah. it? It's yeah, where is three. it? Give, where's season three? Come on. Like, uh, where's the date? I don't think we have a date, right? No, I don't think so. I think it's just yeah. like the summer. Sigh, so assuming July, but, um, what, you know. We'll, we'll just see. drop. We'll just have like, we'll have like Star July, and at the same time, Steam Universe will drop, yeah, no, and we'll that, just be like, we want to die, but it's you fine. Ju- you joke, but that's a real possibility. No, right? exactly. No, it's like I was like, I said it, and I'm like, my soul <laughs> yeah. just kind of hurts. This, this pretty, could actually happen. Probably, th- we'll see if Disney, um, Disney tested out their kind of like uh, their version of the Netflix drop with Star in right. February, which I we'll, doubt they're going to do it again. But we'll see. If if they found it successful, they might yeah. do it again. So I don't know. It just what is the measure on, of success? Depends, yeah, depends on the results because like ratings aren't the measure if you air it at six a.m. So it's like I guess overall hits across like the app and the website right. you know so we'll see what they decide um i'd prefer star weekly i think i, I february star was very good though it was yeah i don't know i just feel like i don't know like i feel like it works better with steven universe granted cartoon network like that's what car- that's literally all cartoon network does yeah the thing with the thing is star still has some disappointing episodes it's easier to get over those if they're not weekly um correct but yeah we'll, we'll see uh yeah there you go uh 
let us know what you thought and um, check us other stuff at overlyanimated.com. A bunch of cool stuff coming. I think we're going to have Adventure Time coverage uh, coming up. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.